Good morning. It's the Daily Quiz, episode 91 on safety management. I'm your host, John Newquist, and this is January 4th, 2026. Safety management comes up a lot, so that's why we try to cover it every month. So the CSP, SP, CHST, SMP, and OSHT. Which of the following statements best describes the concept of a safety and health management program? Increases value-added work by eliminating waste and reducing incidental work. B is an operational strategy directed to, uh, toward achieving the shortest possible cycle time by eliminating waste. C provides a framework to ensure occupational safety and health compliance with OSHA and consensus standards. Provides an effective tool for continuous improvement of a company's occupational safety and health performance. This is the classic two good answers and two bad ones. We can throw out A and B. That's not even close. So it's C or D, and they're looking for D. Remember, it's not a framework to just to meet the minimum of the OSHA standard. It's continuous improvement of the program. It's a systematic approach to manage the safety risks at the place, prevent the injuries, and foster an ongoing safety improvement. So you don't just stay at the minimum of the OSHA levels. You exceed it and eventually hopefully get to world class. Hazardous conditions found during an inspection should be reviewed to determine how the employer was negligent in allowing the hazard to exist. What failures in the safety and health systems permitted the hazard to occur? Who in the company should be assigned responsibility for correcting the hazards? Which employee was not following the safety and health systems requirements specified in the company policy? Well, got only a couple good answers here. Uh, we're going to throw out D, and then, of course, uh, um, C is not really a good answer. But we're looking for B. We look at the underlying weakness in the system. I use it at training, missing procedures, hazard controls, audits, etc., so that the organization can fix the root causes and prevent the hazard from reoccurring. Manufacturing company has experienced a rise in minor injuries and near-miss incidents over the past year. Investigation shows that hazards are identified but corrective actions are often delayed and inconsistently implemented. Senior leadership asks the safety professional to recommend an improvement lined with an effective safety management system principle. What action would most strengthen the company management. Again, the issue is we have problems that are delayed for corrective action and inconsistently implemented. So focus on that in the answers. Is it increased disciplinary action for employees involved with repeated incidents, require supervisors to submit monthly injury statistics to senior management, implement a formal process to track hazards, assign accountability, and verify corrective action completion, provide general safety training to all employees annually. A lot of good suggestions, but what do you want when we're not tracking it? We want to have a formal process to track the hazards, assign accountability, and verify corrective action completion. You know, so sometimes, like I said, you just read out the two bad answers, you look at the two good ones, and then you go back and read it one more time. Again, effective safety management focuses on systematic hazard controls, just not data collection or training. That's it. We'll see you tomorrow.